If you've ever watched the 1980s TV series, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, there's an interesting little anecdote or a little sketch in there, and essentially the series is just a pile of little sketches parodying just about every aspect of postmodern life there is. Um, there's a passage in the Bible, I don't know what it is, uh, where God or... It, words are sort of placed into God's mouth without faith, I am nothing. And uh, <clears throat> so then you see an atheist debating with God, I think. And uh, the atheist says, wait a minute, I have now evidence that you exist. Therefore, um, faith is not required. Therefore, I have no faith and I know you exist. Therefore, you're nothing. And then God, as they say in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, vanishes in a puff of logic. <laughs> um, that's the kind of sort of, I don't know, sideways attack, I guess, on logic. A lot of people see that as an attack on theism or Christianity or whatever. But I see it, I kind of see it the other way. I kind of see it as sort of a slightly irreverent um, parody or irreverent satire of logic because it tends to recoil on you if you sort of take it as an absolute. Now, I was in a discussion yesterday with Frostwork Bouquet um, where he or she, I don't know if I'm talking to a male or a female because of that nick. Sorry, move the phone around there a bit. Um, and I said, where does the ought come from in the is ought thing and, you know, in terms of what our ethical prescriptions are? The answer is, of course, reason. All right. What do we do if reason tends to go against our interests as humans? Well, looks to me as though the implication is for people who uh, I might sort of caricature as worshipping at the altar of reason <clears throat> for such people, we must give way, even if it means we must cease to exist. Uh, a lot of people say that's not really a prescription to suicide. I say it is, but that's neither here nor there. What interests me is the position of humans, us, vis-a-vis -vis reason, logic, uh, all this kind of thing. We have a reasonable and a logical part of our faculties. We have a, it's part of our makeup. But the irrational won't go away. So, the prescription seems to be, find some painless way to have the rational overcome the irrational or the irrational or the non-rational part. In other words, there's a war going on, and the thing that we have to do is make sure that the good guys win, the good guys being logic, reason, rationality, etc. The irrational, the irrational, the non-rational is the bad guy. I'm not so sure that I agree with that, but I'll leave it up to other people to decide whether or not that is a straw man.